question 31 calculates the area of the part of the rectangle that is not shaded solution area of the part not shaded is simply equal to half of the total area that is 1 over 2 times length the length is 8 and the breadth is 6 if you multiply and divide by 2 you have 24 square centimeters B is the correct option question 32 the total surface area of a hemisphere is 75 pi square centimeters find it radius solution total surface area of a hemisphere is given by 3 pi arrow square that area in the question is 75 pi which is equated to 2 pi to 3 pi arrow square you can divide through by 3 pi and you have 27 25 equal to arrow squared to get arrow take the square root of both sides and arrow is equal to square root of 25 and that is 5 centimeters b sorry a is the correct option question 33 find the value of s for which s minus 5 over s bracket open s minus 1 bracket close is undefined the expression is undefined if the denominator is equated to 0 so you have s bracket open s minus 1 bracket close equal to 0 you equate each factor to 0 and you have s equal to 0 or s minus 1 equal to 0 if you transfer the constant term minus 1 to the right hand side you simply have s equal to 0 or 1 d is the correct option question 34 solve the equation 2s squared minus s minus 6 equal to 0 by the method of factorization if you compare the given equation with the general quadratic equation of a s squared plus b s plus c equal to 0 you will agree with me that a is equal to 2 coefficient of s squared b is equal to minus 1 coefficient of s c is equal to minus 6 the constant term and by this method whenever a is not equal to 1 you look for a c that is the product of a and c 2 times minus 6 that is minus 12 now your attention is now on 12 not 6 so you look for two factors of 12 that the sum is minus 1 in s and the product is minus 12 such factors are minus 4 plus 3 in s what you do is that you write the two factors in s and replace the middle term with the two factors the purpose is to have four terms that are factorized by grouping the first two terms take the first group the last two terms the second group from the first group 2s is common if you factor it out you are left with s minus 2 plus from the second group 3 is common if you factor it out you are left with s minus 2 in bracket equal to 0 s minus 2 is common if you factor it out from the first group 2s is remaining and plus 3 is left in the second group which forms the other bracket and you equate it to 0 
at this point you equate each term to zero that is s minus 2 equal to 0 or 2s plus 3 equal to 0 if you transfer the constant terms respectively you have s equal to 2 or 2s equal to minus 3 you have to divide the second term by 2 to have s therefore s is equal to 2 or minus 3 over 2 a is the correct option question 35 factorize completely the expression bracket open s plus 2 bracket close or squared minus bracket open 2s plus 1 bracket close or square you simply see this as difference of two squares so let's take a square minus b square as a case study when factorized you have this expression so in the given expression take a as s plus 2 and b as 2s plus 1 so this is a minus b times a again plus b you open this bracket with this minus sign and you have s plus 2 minus 2s minus 1 if you open the second bracket you have s plus 2 plus 2s plus 1 if you add like terms in both brackets you have minus s plus 1 and 3s plus 3 if you stop here the answer is not yet available you continue the simplification process we can interchange this to be 1 minus s from the second group you can factor r3 and you have 3 into s plus 1 if you write this first followed by 1 minus s so d is the correct option question 36 find the nth term of the sequence 2 times 3 4 times 6 8 times 9 16 times 12 each term has two terms so let's take it term by term let's compare the first term all through that is 2 you have 4 you can express 4 as 2 square you can express 8 as 2 power 3 you can express 16 as 2 power 4 so you have 2 power 1 power 2 3 4 so you can have 2 power n that will give the the the, the, the first term in each term then second term in each term you have 3 now you have 6 3 times 2 is 6 3 times 1 is 3 you have 9 3 times 3 is 9 you have 12 3 times 4 is 12 so you have 1 2 3 4 is also present so you can you can use 3 n to obtain the second term in each term put together you have B as the correct option question 37 if 3s equal to 4 modulo 5 find the least value of s solution you can do this using two approaches the first one is that in modulo 5 you list some multiples of 5 you have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and so on. Now, the, from these multiples, you look for the least multiple that when you add it to this 4, 3 can divide it without remainder. So 5 will give us that multiple. So you have 4 plus 5. 
is equal to 9. Divide 9 by 3, you have 3. Now, we, you can see use 10. If you add 10 to 4, okay, that is not possible. You try 15, it's not possible. You try 20, 20 is possible. If you add 20 to 4, you have 24. Divide by 3, you have 8. Now, we have the option of 5 and 8, but you are asked to find the list. So, between 5 and 20, now, not 8, between 5 and 20, the list there is 5. So, it is 5 that is to be added to 4. When divided by 3, there is no remainder. So, the result is 3. Or you think of a number that 3 can multiply when divided by 4 when divided by 5 the remainder is 4 think of a number that we replace s here so if 3 multiply that number you divide by 5 the remainder is 4 that number is 3 3 times 3 is 9 you divide 9 by 5, you have remainder 4. You can also have 8. 8 can be there. 8 times eight times 3 is 24. Divide by 5, you have 4, remainder 4. Now, looking at 3 and 8, the list there is 3. So, either of these two options can give us the correct option of C. Question 38, the solution of S plus 2 greater than equal to 2S plus 1 is illustrated on the number line as you have to solve the inequality first. So when you solve, you collect like terms, you have 2 minus 1 greater than equal to 2S minus s if you subtract you have one greater than s s is usually on the left hand side if you interchange the position of s and one the symbol of inequality also changes so if one is greater than or equal to s then s is less than or equal to one so you check the diagram the given symbol here is weak for weak symbol we make use of tick circle or tick dot as you have here less than or equal to one it means from one and you move towards your left so a is the correct option question 39 if P and Q are two statements. Under what condition would if P then Q be false? If P then Q be false. That is only possible when the first statement is true and the second is false. So you have B. If P is true and Q is false, then if P, then Q becomes false. B is the correct option. Question 40. The diagram shows a trapezium inscribed in a semicircle. If O is the midpoint of WZ, and ws equal to sy equal to yz calculate the value of m now woz is equal to 180 angle woz that is angles on a straight line and this expression is given to us that means the three angles are equal since 
you have three angles in that place you divide 180 by 3 that means each angle is 60 degrees for us to find m we need to consider triangle z o y and that triangle is isosceles triangle because you have equal radar so by that the base angles are equal base angles are equal so angle o y z is equal to angle o z y equal to m equal to m so we have a we have a two angles the base angles are equal the base angles are equal you have this as the base angle one angle is here another angle is here so already this angle is 60 degrees so if you add the three angles the sum is 180 degrees so in triangle z o y if you add the three angles the sum is equal to 180 degrees so you have 6 0 degrees plus m plus m equal to 180 degrees so 2m equal to 180 minus 60 degrees and that is 120 degrees to so get m divide both sides by 2 m is equal to 60 degrees b is the correct option peter calls simplified maths if you are viewing and watching from youtube don't forget to subscribe like and share psm videos if you are viewing and watching from facebook follow and like the page also share psm videos